Now, in other news, Harvard University President Claudine Gay has resigned from her position. Now, this comes amid criticism surrounding her testimony at a congressional hearing about anti-Semitism on campus. Gay's departure comes just six months into her tenure. Her exit has raised questions about the top-tier university's handling of sensitive issues. Yeah, I mean, I came to Harvard at an interesting time. Also, as a, as a Jewish student, I've uh, noticed in the Jewish community here that a lot of people felt uncomfortable with the, uh, you know, with the climate here on campus. And so also, you know, I'm kind of used to the European leadership style. And so it was kind of new for me what I, what I was witnessing here. And I was almost surprised of the, the weak leadership that I saw here at Harvard. Um, so I'm happy that and I think it was about time that Claudine Gay resigned as president. The controversy was triggered by her performance at a congressional hearing. Gay faced scrutiny over her response to questions about the university's position on anti-Semitism on the campus following the outbreak of the Israel-Gaza war. Take a look at her testimony. It's targeted at Jewish students, Jewish individuals. Do you understand your testimony is dehumanizing them? Do you understand that dehumanization is part of antisemitism? I will ask you one more time. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Harvard's rules of bullying and harassment? Yes or no? Again, can be depending on the context. The backlash was further fueled by plagiarism allegations that have now been proven wrong by a Harvard investigation committee. The accusations rose from similarities found between her writing and those of other authors. However, the Harvard committee regarded that a citation error in her 1997 doctoral dissertation. Gay's hesitant response during the hearing sparked a backlash from Democrat and Republican lawmakers. She later issued an apology, acknowledging that she failed to denounce the threats of violence against Jewish citizens and also the students at the college. Her resignation marks a turbulent chapter for the university. Gay was the first black president in Harvard's 388-year-old history.